nothing on justice. It's all one Indianapolis mother says she can do as she mourns the loss of her son to gun violence last winter. Yeah, in February of 2021, the young man's family sat down with WRTV pleading for justice. Tonight, WRTV reporter Nikki Demendry found his mother is still searching for answers. But we'll show you what happened after Nikki took her concerns to IMPD. It's 382 days and counting since Denise Bonds lost her 25-year-old son. That's my son, Darrell Brown. Uh, that was murdered last year, January 25th. 382 days later, and the east side apartment complex parking lot where Darrell Brown was shot and killed is quiet. But Bonds continues to make noise when it comes to catching her son's killer. Yeah. Rel Rel, as the family calls him, was a father, Army veteran, and standout high school football player. I ask and pray that somebody do the right thing. Not just for my family, for other families that lost loved ones so violently. Bond's fight isn't just for justice. She's also fighting for her health. In November, the mother of five began chemo for breast cancer, and soon she'll undergo surgery. It's hard. I got to keep going. I got to keep going because I have to do it for him. Over the last year, Bond's main frustration stems from what she says is a lack of communication from the detective assigned to the case. Bond says it's been months since she heard from IMPD or victims' assistance. I know they got a lot of cases to solve. And I don't know if a lot of people got killed, but not to get back with you, not to give you no kind of information. That's the hardest part. After our interview, Bonds tells me she did hear from her son's detective, but only after we reached out to IMPD asking for comment on the matter. It's, it's hard. It's just a nightmare that, that won't go away. Her ask from day one to day 382 remains the same. If someone knows something about Darrell's murder, speak up and speak out. He deserves some answers. He deserves some answers. Working for you, Nikki Dementry, WRTV. IMPD tells WRTV it continues investigating Darrell Brown's homicide. In an email exchange, an IMPD spokesperson told WRTV that, in part, the detective has been in contact with the family, but has not been able to participate in some activities and events the family has had, which IMPD says has had no bearing on the investigation. Of the 271 homicides last year in Indianapolis, about 150 remain unsolved, according to data from IMPD and the WRTV homicide map.